This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Okay, we're on a service call here in an apartment. Landlord gave me the key. Just heard it kick on. Air handler should be in this closet. Yep, an old rude. Let's see. I feel that line getting hot. I feel that one getting cold. So let's go walk around the back and see. They said it's not cooling. All right, well, we've got an old ICP that somebody has put MO99 in, but this is our unit. The disconnect is labeled B. We're not, we're, look, look Ted, I found Jimmy. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we've got, 13 sear two ton from 07 R22. It just shut off. There's no way it could have reached temperature that quick. I pegged it down pretty low. All right, obviously they have the disconnects marked wrong because still blowing. I can still feel refrigerant passing through here and this line the suction line is still pretty damn cold so obviously that's not the right unit so I'm going to shut it off and go back outside and see if it's the one right next to the one we're working on Okay, well it's on. My wife rode with me on this service call, so she's gonna uh, she's gonna go inside and hit the thermostat. She should be getting in there any minute, so let's see what happens when she hits it. That's this is our unit. Okay, and guys, remember I told y'all on the hangout that one night that these guys use BX for whips here. Yeah, look at that. This is, it's not weatherproof. That's what they freaking use here is BX. The disconnects are labeled right. B actually goes to this unit. D is coming and going over here. So they are labeled right. I just figured, you know, this one was for this one. That one was for this one. All right, so let's, uh, I see some ants. moving around in there so we might have some uh, con uh ants in the contactor all right there's no ants in the contactor the refrigerant charge You know, looks a little low, but I don't carry MO99. So, I'll have to ask him if he wants to, you know, I don't know what he wants to do, but I don't carry MO99. So, I'm not sure not going to mix it, and I'm not going to dump it, dump it out, or recover it. Dump it, recover it, whatever you want to call it, you know, and then load it up with 22, but... But I don't have no MO99, so I'm not going to add charge to it. What I am going to do is, uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to pop that capacitor out of there and check it. So let's do that now.
It's a 35 plus 5. The fan is brown. Common is red. And the Herm is white. Oh, and I'm gonna have to scratch us some spots because it's rusted out. Let's try that. I still can't get a damn reading. There we go. 4.9, that's fine. 34.6, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that capacitor. So we're gonna put that back on. Red was common. White was Herm. And our fan was brown. Looks like I pulled the common off the contactor when I did that. So let's remake that connection. Ooh, it looks like I actually broke the terminal or maybe it was like that all right so let's get a new one do it just like they had it both wires in the same connector okay good there we go this capacitor back. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna finish putting these tools away, I'm gonna fire it back up, and then go take some temperature readings inside. Let's go take some temperature readings inside. All right, 
and I'm having to hold it with my hand because that's an aluminum grill. 57. 56 coming out to supply. Alright. Let's check the return. That's a metal grill. We had 56. So we got, that's 12 degrees so far. Okay, about 13 degrees of split, which is, you know, not horrible. Here's another register. This one. He's still dropping. I would get a look at the coil, but this is actually a positive pressure system. The uh, coil is above, even though it's an electric air handler. I don't know. I don't see an issue here. 